These female robots in Japan will surprise you. Japan is mostly known for its technological revolution. Due to this technological innovation, Japan does use robots in almost every walk of life. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about these female robots in Japan will surprise you. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Recently, we have seen robots doing the most crazy things in Japan. But in this video, we will talk about these female robots, which will leave you completely dumbfounded, so stay tuned. Now in Japan, we are hearing about fully performing robots. What does it mean by the term fully performing? And what exactly are the implications of having these robots in our everyday life? Also, how will these robots exactly function? These are all the questions that must be buzzing through your head right now. So let's just address them right away. Japan is perhaps the most technologically advanced country in the world when it comes to producing robots. That's just a matter of fact. When it comes to Japan, almost 60% of everyday life is managed and looked after by robots. This includes tending restaurants and cleaning washrooms to more subtle and intricate chores, such as customer management. This means that these robots are engaged in almost all the industries in Japan. It seems that everything is automated in Japan, especially in their tech and biomedical industry. Human labor is not needed in jobs, which can be easily performed by robots and AI. Essentially, Japan does not allow humans to work these repetitive jobs, and they can easily depend on robots. Advanced equipment and robots keep coming out of Japanese industries. You will completely forget about hiring maids or the kitchen staff because you can easily buy robots to make your coffee for you. Or you can just program your robot cleaner to clean up after a family dinner. You can even keep a robotic pet who has none of the fuss of your regular furry pets. However, this is not the hallmark of Japanese robotics. The unique trademark of Japanese robots are humanoid robots. And this is not something which Japanese scientists have come up with right now. In fact, Japanese scientists have been infatuated with the idea of having a human-looking robot since the 1950s. But why would they obsess over designing a robot which replicates human behavior? The obsession over designing robots which resemble humans comes from the human desire of social belonging. Who does not like a robot which can walk and talk like a human or even perform daily activities like an average person. And Japan has been extremely successful in that regard. We have seen robots of various purposes coming out of Japan. These robots can take care of the more mundane affairs such as cleaning and maintaining health standards in sensitive places like these. These robots have also been used for different diagnostic reasons too. But these robots are nothing more than that. However, with recent strides made in AI, scientists in Japan have taken robotics to a whole nother level. Now, Japan has announced fully capable female robots. But given that so many other robots have already flooded Japan, it forces us to think about what is really unique about these fully capable female robots. But wait, these robots are nothing short of brilliant, since they are fully capable of acting like a human being. This means that these are no ordinary robots in the sense they can show a full range of human behavior and emotion. All right, I know this sounds like I'm overselling this idea, but just look at the level of design of these robots. Not only do they look like a functioning human, but also move and express themselves like a robot. In terms of aesthetics and features, it is really hard to differentiate women from these fully functioning robots. Of course, you cannot fully replicate human behavior down to the finer details, such as a twitch or a blink of an eye, can easily tell you that this is in fact a robot. However, everything else seems legit. These robots have broken multiple records when it was launched. This means that it was a huge hit within Japanese society. Strangely enough, many people from different sections of society began taking interest in buying these robots. For example, this robot called Rose was actually in a lot of demand, and the sales volume was really high. But there was a reason behind Rose's popularity. 
Because most people don't buy these expensive robots just because they are in a huge demand. This means that the roots were very good, or the reviews must have rated them very highly. Bad reviews would have plummeted the demand of these robots if media hype was the only reason for its popularity. One reason for why this robot stood out is because it was constructed completely different from how the rest of robots are produced. This is a very human-looking robot, where you can have a very proximate idea of actually touching a robot. You cannot have the same experience of interacting with other robots because you would only get plasticity feedback from those robots. This is a different case though. Because not only does this robot look different, but it also feels very different. The exterior and interior features of this robot have been lined with silica gel, which gives a very distinctive feeling of touching human-like skin. Another important distinction is that this robot is not icy cold. Because whenever you touch humanoid robots, you get a cold response. Humans are warm, which gives you this unique feeling which you don't get from touching a robot. The designers of this robot have given the sensors which create a feeling that it is being touched by a robot. It is not a surprise at all that most people who ended up buying this robot were mostly those individuals who love to stay indoors. Most individuals who have bought this robot feel that they do not need to have a girlfriend. So this robot is perfect for people who do not want to get into dating as such. So love can be bought and people are buying girlfriends. So, the insides of this robot have also been well designed, which are in line with human anatomy. The texture and the overall feel is very close to what humans have expected of each other. The developers of this robot have said that this robot has been specifically designed for people who take an avid interest in anime and manga. Also, there is an added layer of customization which these robots can have since all humans are different. And since every human has a different interest, this is where these robots shine. Anything is possible with these robots, and you can modify them any way you like. For instance, you can adjust their height to make them look shorter or taller. You can also adjust the shape and size of the body. You can adjust the body type to give it a slim, regular, or somewhat chubby figure type. There is also room for making minor changes too, such as hair color, eye color, and the type of garments it wears. The designers of this robot have gone the extra mile to make it truly attractive too, since these robots can be very smart too. In short, this is the woman you've always wanted in your wildest dreams. This robot has a very powerful chip through which you can connect it to any outlet you want. This means you can connect it to a TV or washing machine and can essentially connect with it through a remote control. You can always program it to perform simple chores too, and they can do simple chores much better than ordinary humans. Do you think that having these robots around is a good idea? Feel free to comment below. Please give this video a huge thumbs up.